We're just continuing with Alachot Pesach. Siman Taflam Gimel. We're talking about Bedikat Chametz. So Maran brings down in Siv Bet that you're not allowed to check with the Lora Avuka, which means you're not allowed to check with a torch. So, for example, a Havdalah light, you're not allowed to check. Why? Obviously, it's because you're going to be afraid of checking with such a light that it has many different wicks, because then it could actually burn different things. So, obviously, or he brings down here Lor Ner Shel Chelev. Nowadays, some people say that the Chelev would be permitted to use because nowadays it's different than the regular candles. However, obviously, it's better Alpia Kabbalah to do a Ner Shel Shava, which is going to be a wax candle, right? That's the best in order to do for Bidikat Chametz. Now, obviously, that everything that we're talking about now is because you're afraid that it could burn something. So, you have to be careful. And that's so we just mentioned yesterday about the flashlight, that you always have the flashlight with you. So in any single place where you're going to be afraid, you always use the flashlight instead of using the ner. Now you're going to check any single place where there's suspicion that maybe Hametz actually entered there. So therefore, whether it's going to be all the different rooms in the house, whether it's going to be t- top parts, whether it's going to be roofs, so any, any place where Hametz could have entered, you have to do it. <coughs> Another halacha would apply even to the Batek Nasiyot of Batek Midrashot. Why? Because if right now you're going to have the children, right here it says, Shatinukom Achnisim Ma'im Chametz, so therefore you're obligated to do it. So it's not, not only just here in the Batek Neset, where we actually have food, but anywhere where children go and they play. So for example, their toys, or any time that they could actually come and they could take, the children will take it from one place to another place. So therefore a person has to be careful to do it with Abedikat Chametz. A lot of times people forget and they have it in the school bags, or they have it in other places as well, and they leave the Chametz there. You have to make sure that anything to do with children has to be thoroughly washed from the beginning and has to be actually cleaned to make sure that there's not going to be chametz throughout the entire Pesach.